Well, can DNA evidence free a man from death row? At the end of this month, Georgia is set to execute Ray Jefferson Cromartie. He was convicted of shooting two store clerks, killing one of them. But his brother believes that DNA testing could possibly exonerate him. Elwin Lopez sat down with him today. Cromartie's brother Anthony says he just wants a judge to allow DNA testing on some of the evidence in the case before his brother is executed. They keep saying this, it doesn't matter. It does matter. A man's life is at stake and he's my brother. His brother Ray Jefferson Cromartie sits on death row, convicted for shooting and killing store clerk Richard Slice in 1994. A few years later, sentenced to death. Now, more than two decades later, Anthony hopes for DNA testing on some of the evidence in the case to show whether or not his younger brother shot the clerk. DNA should have been years ago, number one priority. This makes sure that he committed the crime. He paid the price for it. But if he didn't, set him free. Last year, after 21 years in prison, the Attorney General's office says Cromartie sought post-conviction DNA testing. Last month, the trial court denied the inmate's motion for a new trial. The parole board will consider whether or not to grant clemency for Cromartie a day before his scheduled execution at the end of October. But Anthony says even if his brother is put to death, he won't give up. I have to fight for him. I'm the big brother. I got to make it happen. No matter what I need to do or how I need to do it, I need to make it happen for him. Cromartie would be the third prisoner to be executed in Georgia this year. His clemency hearing is scheduled for October 29th.